Well, we saw a few flurries early this morning, but now mostly clear conditions will persist as we head into the early evening before more clouds build in with this next week feature that is mostly directed towards Wisconsin, but it's not out of the question that we will see some of that moisture sneak its way into the UP throughout the night and for us as we head into our early Tuesday morning. But that will only result in a few light areas of drizzle and mostly just flurries for us as we head into the evening and then by tomorrow evening, expecting more of that clear sky to return as high pressure takes control and then also it looks like temperatures get a lot warmer for us by the middle portions of this week. Right now we are at 36 degrees. Winds currently from the northeast at 8 miles per hour. A lot of sunshine out there for us and we will remain clear for the early portions of this evening. 36 degrees in Marquette and seeing more of those cooler conditions off to the east. But temperatures beginning to rebound as you go farther into central and western UP. Take a look at temperatures right now. 48 degrees in Ironwood, 38 in Ontonagon, 50s in Florence and Menominee, and also in Crystal Falls at 34 currently in Houghton. And farther off to the east, there goes those cooler numbers at 37 in Munising, currently at 48 in Escanaba, and 36 degrees in Ishpeming. But winds are coming in from that northeasterly direction, so if you are right along Lake Superior, you are going to see that cool air for the time being at 16 in Houghton, 10 miles per hour in Marquette, while at 13 coming in from the south in Munising, northwest at 20 miles per hour, pretty breezy down into Iron Mountain and 10 miles per hour in Ironwood. Those will die off into the evening and temperatures across the state seeing those cooler conditions up to the north along Lake Superior far the south. 40s as you go into the northern portions of the lower peninsula and far the south. They are seeing more of those 50s in southern Michigan and for your current wind chills, not too bad for us one bit at all. Lower 30s in Marquette, 50s here into Iron Mountain and 40s in Escanaba. But for tonight, it should be pretty much quiet for us. A few isolated flurries and then tomorrow seeing more of that more of that chance as we head into the afternoon with that weak feature beginning to work its way through. But that should exit pretty quickly for us by tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Expecting skies to be mostly clear once again for us. And then the, war the warmth really begins to surge its way northward heading into Wednesday and Thursday, although it looks like Thursday uh, that will also include for us a chance of rain. But this is what we're looking out for as we head into the evening. Light areas of drizzle and flurries as we head into the evening. By tomorrow, that feature will be off to our south and east as we head into the evening hours, and we will begin to clear out by tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Your future cast model shows the system right here. Few areas of light flurries, seeing the best uh, chances of that around Ironwood, maybe Iron Mountain and down closer to Menominee. But that gets out of here. We'll notice that clouds will be on the decrease as we head into the late afternoon hours and tomorrow evening. Temperatures uh, right around average for us for tomorrow night before we'll start to see more of that moisture build back up as we get closer to Wednesday evening going into Thursday. And we'll be looking out for a chance of rain by that time before another cold front pushes on through and cools us off heading into Friday. Tonight we'll be down to 22 degrees flurries, especially after midnight. Winds uh, pretty light for us. And as we head into Tuesday, it will be possible that we we do see those light snow showers, especially early on before seeing more of that partly cloudy sky later on during the evening. East northeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Not terribly breezy out there for us. Temperatures upper 30s in Lawrence at 37 degrees for your high 41 in Ontonagon. A little cooler for us into Crystal Falls and Florence uh, after we saw the 50s today will drop down to the middle 40s. 40 degrees in Escanaba and at 37 in Munising. But for your bus stop forecast, we'll see temperatures drop to 22 degrees tonight, but uh, not going to be terribly bad for us, especially with winds light, and we'll have that 20% chance of light snow as you head out tomorrow morning. But over the next three days, Temperatures really warm up for us. 36 degrees on Tuesday, a little cool, just below average for us. Then we warm up to 44 by Wednesday with skies uh, partly to mostly cloudy or partly to mostly sunny, sorry, for us across the region. And then Thursday comes in and we'll be looking out for that rain to come through. Uh, that will mostly be between Wednesday night and on into early Thursday morning. So maybe a slight chance of an early shower Thursday morning before seeing more of that clearing and more of that cold air arrive by Thursday evening after temperatures top off in the lower 50s and we'll drop back down to the lower 30s by Friday under partly sunny conditions and for us on Saturday expecting another chance of light snow around 33.